get the best result from a WDT, you need to use fine needles, and sometimes those fine needles get bent. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the needles in the Flick WDT. You're going to need the Flick, spare needles, the Allen key, which is included, and a screwdriver. Now let's get started. Importantly, you need to start with your needles out. If not, they will twist and get mangled inside the Flick as you screw them because the magnet is locked in place at the back of the Flick. So flick them out, grab your Allen key, and twist off the cap while holding the Flick vertically. You'll see the needles freely twist with it and you can remove the whole internal section. Next, grab a screwdriver and remove the screw. And at the back of the plastic, you'll see you can remove each of the needles. Grab your replacement needles from the pack in your box and you'll see there's a hole where the prongs slide in easily. Place the screw back in, screw the screw back in, and you want to slide the tip of the flick in between the needles and place them inside their allocated slits. It's important to hold the needles and the housing of the flick vertically again, otherwise when you screw it back together, it will slide down the shaft before you're done tightening. Simply screw it in and tighten a little bit with the Allen key, and bang, you're ready to get WDTing again.